Hello, and welcome back to the Mists of Aiden. Last episode, we got chased by a maniac in a gas mask with an axe. There, there was a big explosion, lots of fire. We stole the Heart of the Fog, which was not a trinket, like the dude said. It was a big, huge diamond. And, yeah, we... I, the only way to go now... Ooh, the door's open. Okay, the only way to go now is through that chained door. We have an electronic lock here. This system is a bit more... Oh. Um... Well, we must do it anyway. At least we must try to get in. What? What are you talking about, man? Frankie is going straight up crazy. I mean, I might be too, but, like, he's not doing much better than I am. Yeah, cool. Did you manage to open it? Good. What? But are you sure that you want to go in there? What the f What does that mean, Frankie? This looks like a fake to me. Let's move. We came for a different thing. What? I thought I should have taken it, but this is not the heart I'm looking for. Oh. Reminds me of a necklace I gave to my wife. We resold it last year. Oh no. Okay. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Well then, let's take a walk. Oh my god. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is, who's it gonna be? Oh fuck! What the hell was that? Oh, and that painting. Oh my god. Don't think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. Oh no. What's happening? How do I leave? God. Okay, I think I'm straight up tripping balls over here. I'm a, like am I in a prison cell? Did I murder my wife and kid? It's the only thing I can think of. You know, there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. And when it seems that there's nowhere to go, you'll take any way out. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> fucking shit! That was a big-ass rat! Oh, my God! Probably thought a lot about it. Or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Frankie... Frankie, my man. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, don't like that. That's creepy. Oh, fuck. Get out of here, dude. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? Oh. Uh. Calm down. You've already killed them. You haven't been here for a long time, haven't you? Every okay. new job began with this car. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. Is this all because I didn't cut the blue wire first? <laughs> it was the easiest thing ever. You only had to cut the blue wire. Yeah, Frankie. Well, too bad. Oh, that door was locked. Okay. Do you really want to return what? to your family? Well... Maybe you'll find a normal job. Just leave the earpiece and go. You won't hear about me anymore. Yes, please. Okay. Is that over? Let's go. Oh, thank God. Woo! Sorry. Nope. I was joking. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? Well, that isn't important. Oh. In any case, now you're with me. You're a good person after all. This just can't. Oh, fuck! Woo! I don't know where I'm going! Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. 
I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh, thank God. Whew. Oh, shh. Ah. Uh. No, thank you. Oh, God. Christ. Man. Okay. And it's locked. Good. Police informed that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. It turned out to be a 23-year-old native of London by Is that the name Frankie. The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed Frankie tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. The suspect claims that he is not guilty, since he didn't uh -huh. know about the presence okay. of the people okay. in the home. After all, it's never his fault, is it? Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. After all, who knows who these people were? Killers, abusers, monsters. Come on, come on with another reason why they should have died. Oh. Let me give you a hint. Who is to blame? I want to look stories. at the person the who killed me. In the death of his wife. The wife killed her child. And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits. Oh. The husband was the, the, the guy with the axe. The wife was the person who killed the child, and then the child was the monster that they, like, tried to revive or something. An acceptance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think we had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. Okay. Bye bye everyone. Going up to heaven? I don't... It's a pity that okay. acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them, and you will remember We will be this. together forever. Oh. No what you will imagine next, we will be together forever. Oh, don't like that. Okay. Well. All right, I think I understand. I think I've got it. Yeah, man. Yeah, I agree. I might have killed three people, a couple and a kid, and now I'm just trying to rationalize it in my brain? And I'm, like, in Groundhog Day, or, you know, going crazy in prison or something. Oh. Door's wide open. Okay. Now there's one more door to go through. This demon thing wasn't too much. Was it a good ending? There is no time. I need to leave it as it is. Since when did I start talking to myself? I can't take it anymore. I need to get distracted. I always knew who I would be when I grew up. My father took care of this. Director of the... Factory. Very powerful person. He had big plans. And some of them were on me. But first, I had some daily schedule to do. You must wake up at five, then homework, then school, and in the evening, the real work. Okay. Oh. Every day was a preparation for the future. I had goals. At age 14, a junior assistant in the sorting floor. At 15, a senior assistant. Head of the floor at 24. Replacement for my father at 31. There is no time for doubts. I would do everything for him. Every day. I hated it. I had no one to talk to. I had no idea how. Oh, man. Go, and because of that, again and again. All right. All right, all right. A journal. At first, it didn't work out very well. Stupid stories. It's too embarrassing to even think about them. But they gave me the distraction then. Oh. 
Wait a second. I think I'm writing a story. I'm an author who went against his father's wishes because I didn't want to work in a slaughterhouse. And what? Am I just writing a story? My invitation to the world outside the home. An opportunity to leave. Is that 18? I apologize for the late reply, but I wanted time to myself and a colleague to read your work, The Grey Gentleman. Frankly, your style isn't quite polished yet. However, I've been intrigued by your talent for creating an atmosphere and maintaining dark tone. I'm still having goosebumps from your gloomy descriptions of an alien slaughterhouse. Please reply to this email if you still want to work with us. I believe that our proposal might interest you. Editor. Okay, that, that must be it. Father was furious. He locked me up. He used his educational methods stronger than usual. But it's all in the past. I was able to leave, and that's what really matters. I left all this behind. I found a special girl. That's what's important. We have a wonderful baby. And we lived happily ever after. Until... Until what? Oh, I remember in uh, the the camera episode, he said that artists always like talk about themselves. So I think I'm a, yeah, that must be what it is. I'm a writer and this is just like me rationalizing my shitty childhood and stuff. Just writing a dark story. That's what I'm going with. Wrote about three dozen such notes only for the first chapter. The safe door opened with a soft clink. Here it is, the shining stone he was looking for. It's time to go home. Thief turned back to the door in frozen shock. There was a man in an opening. He didn't see his face, just an old gas mask. Yeah. Only after this letter did we realize how serious a problem is. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mist, I'm sorry to inform you that Oliver's condition is getting worse. Ryoku... What? I don't know what that is will facilitate his well-being and increase his quality of life, but it can't eliminate the cause of his heart problems. I highly recommend you give your consent to more radical methods of treatment as soon as possible. We've prepared a medication regimen, which has a chance to restore working of the heart back to normal. I doubt that surgery will be needed, but I have to warn you that it may be a possibility in the future. We will discuss your son's treatment during your next visit. Uh, that's where the money troubles come in. Don't remember how many of these bills we received. There were too many of them. Bills for treatment grew every month. My novel started to get rejected, and in time, our money ran out. I got a second job, then started another one. That wasn't enough, but we had a chance. Wow. I erased all unnecessary descriptions. The reader's attention must be focused solely on what he will see next. Each step up the stairs is marked by a lingering creak. A hatch in the ceiling has led him into the attic, a dark world that was deprived of all traces of sound and light. The only thing that could break the silence was the sound of the old camera. The only thing that could help him to see was its broken camera flash. After a few long seconds, he has finally found a door. Another flash of the camera helped him to see. They were here, motionless figures. Short moment that was frozen in time. Oh man, this is a lot of bills. For like seven and a half thousand pounds each, right? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Is he alright? The doctor says that he's stable. Good. Good. Have you taken a nap yet? I didn't have time. The operation just ended. Oh, they had to do surgery on the little boy. Work. Uh, the part with the maniac is ready. I will write it in time. Can we get another loan? We are already in debt. They won't give us any more. Man. I just need to finish it and... You can call your father. Mateen, you know we shouldn't do that. I've already spoken to him. He has plans for me and now he has plans for Oliver. He, he will break him. He is a monster. Aiden, I don't care who he is. I don't care even if he has horns in his tail. We're talking about our son right now. <sighs> Listen, if he gives us money, then we won't be able to leave him. Never. Okay, that's where... I, 
I will All sell right. the book, and we will solve everything. Aiden, your last work is still in your desk, along with the previous one. How do you know that they'll buy this book? This is all that I have. I promise you, this is my best work. I just need to finish it and everything will be okay. Do you believe me? <sighs> One month, Aiden. Then, we'll call your father. I can handle it. I promise. Just say that you believe me and I will do everything. One month. All right, one month to finish the book. Aiden, are you okay? We need to talk. No, no, no. By this I time, the reader should already listening. be wondering what is happening in the house and why the Aiden, hero chooses not to think about these strange repetitions. This dungeon can become one of the possible answers. I know that you were Oliver is stable. Good. Uh, every cell he saw caused jitters to run down his spine. He had been abandoned for many years, but he couldn't get rid of a stupid thought that a distraught prisoner was still hiding in one of them, and his partner was acting strange. Something is clearly wrong here. have you been inside? Aiden, I can't worry about the both of you at the same time. We must solve this problem, and solve it now. Till recently, Your I didn't know whether to give the hero a happy ending or not. I don't think he deserves so his family. I definitely don't deserve mine. Oh, want. man. Who cares about the books? He gets Everything was so strange, surreal. He was standing me. here in the old garage, again, as if he had never left it. it here, through. among these Whatever familiar walls, happens. the memories of this mansion began I'm to sure feel like a strange dream. Maybe it was a dream. We will talk to him. Is this endless horror and death were just out. a projection of a weary mind? Asked about you. Never mind, it's time to go back to the family. He removed the earpiece and opened the door that led inside. A bright you? light hit his eyes. Home! Finally. You. He took a step Open forward. The door, Aiden. You made a promise. Oh, okay, they want me to choose. Aiden, do I keep please. on writing? Or do I... Okay, as a father... Aiden. I've got to go with the family. I'm sorry, guys. If you want to know about this ending, maybe we'll do talk. another episode. But I've got to go with this one. I will leave it all behind. I can work with my father. We can come up with something together. But if only I had a couple more days. I just want to talk. They make you choose twice. Like, are you sure you want to do it this way? You yes, promised. man. No, that does not matter. Hello, Nadine. That was excellent. Also, that ending did not matter, apparently. <laughs> um, thanks for watching the final episode of Mists of Aiden. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And put down in the comments if you want to see maybe choosing writing instead of working my f with my father will give us a different ending. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.